In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hundreds of Amazon listing variation like this within just 10 minutes. Yes, because if you are selling a product on Amazon, just like shoes, t-shirts, blankets, or any other product, which is having multiple color and design variation or even size variation. So for example, if you are having a product that is having five colors and five sizes. So basically five multiplied by five is 25. So that means if you want to sell that product, you need to create 25 listing variation. So if a person want black color and small size or pink color and large size, so they will be able to go on Amazon on your listing and they will be able to select their color and their size, which they want to purchase, right? So right after watching this video, no matter your listing is having 25 variation or 2500 variation, you will be able to create them very quickly with the help of Amazon bulk file upload. Yes, because in Amazon bulk file upload, you can actually create many of the listing in bulk. You just have to put the data manually for one time and then it will replicate that data as per the color or size variation as much time as you want. So basically this video is really, really helpful for all of the Amazon seller who are selling their products on Amazon. Because if not right now, this video will help you later on when you start selling some more product and when you start adding some more variations to your product listing. So keep on watching. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained to you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and if I go on Amazon and search for a product like weighted blanket or any other product having variation, so Amazon will start showing me some results for that keyword which I have searched. And if I scroll down, so just like that, I will be able to see that if I purchase my product from this listing or this listing, so I will be able to select the color which I want, just like this. You can see that I can see here gray color, cream color, blue or even green color. And if I open that listing, so here you can see that I am able to select my size. Like if if I want this blanket a blue color, so I can select that blue color. So on the left side, all the images have changed to blue. And if then I click on this drop down menu, like see all 17 option. So if I click on this menu, so you can see that I am able to see all of the color variation here. And if I close that menu and then go on the other listing, so here you can see that I am able to select the colors and sizes as well, like this size, this size and this size. So basically, if you want to do this, how you can do this? So for that, first of all, you have to list down the colors and list down the sizes. For example, if your product is having three colors, red, green, and blue, and three sizes, small, medium, and large. So you have to multiply this three by three, which is nine. So that means you have to create nine listings and then put all of those nine listings under one parent. And you have to define in the bulk sheet that which listing belong to which color and which size. So now let's see how to do it practically. So to do it practically, you have to go on Amazon Seller Central. And from the left side, you have to click on this menu and then click on catalog and then click on add products via upload. So remember, you have to click on the same tab, add products via upload, not any other tab like add product or delete product or manage inventory. So if you click on add product via upload, so basically here via upload means you have to upload that product via bulk file. So after clicking on that, on the top side, you can see these four tabs. Number one is download spreadsheet. Number two is spreadsheet download history. Number three, upload spreadsheet. And number four, spreadsheet upload status. So basically what you have to do is, first of all, you have to click on this download spreadsheet and then you have to download a blank Excel sheet as per your category. So after downloading that blank sheet, you have to open that sheet into Google Sheet or MS Excel and then fill out the data about your product, about the size, about the variation, about the color, one by one, line by line in that Excel sheet. And then after filling out the data, you have to save that Excel sheet and then you have to upload that Excel sheet here. And then after uploading, your variation will be created, your listing will be created within just five minutes. Like no matter they are 10 variation, 100 or 1000, they will be created in five minutes. If you watch this video and if you learn how to fill in the data properly, right? So now let's start that process. So first of all, click on this download spreadsheet and then go down on the right side, click on the get product template under that update product details. So if you click on get product template, 
then you will see this error message and from there you have to click on this product template because here you need to download the template so if i click on product template so then it will ask you the country the country market for which you want to create that listing variation like if you are selling in usa mexico canada uk whatever country you are selling you have to select that country so for example in this case i'm selling on amazon.com so if i click on amazon.com so it will show me all of the product bulk file which i want to download for amazon.com so after clicking on that, I have to go down and then from here, I have to select the category in which I'm selling the product. So either I can navigate to my category from here by selecting the categories and subcategory or I can just type the exact name of my category here and then click on search. So if I type blanket and click on search. So here you can see that I can see multiple categories here. So if your exact category matches here, you can just select. Otherwise, you can just go back and navigate to your category step by step from that category hierarchy right so after selecting your category you can see that the category has been added here and then from here you can just uncheck all of those marketplaces in which you are not selling and you have to select only one marketplace or two or three maybe in which you are selling so let's just uncheck the europe and let's just uncheck the americas only amazon.com is selected so after selecting your market you have to go down and from the right side you have to click on generate template so when you click on generate template a blank excel file will be downloaded to your laptop and then you can open that excel file into google sheet or microsoft excel just like this so you can see that i have already downloaded that file weighted blanket and after opening that file into google sheet from the bottom i can see these sheets like instruction images example data definition and so on so here what i have to do is i have to go on template and then from that template file i have to put in the data and if anywhere i stuck and i don't know that what value i have to put in that field so i can take the example or help from this valid value sheet which is last sheet you can see that on bottom if i click on valid values so here I can just find the valid value for every field in that sheet because if I fill in the wrong format in any field so Amazon will not accept my file and it will reject it and after rejection I have to modify that file and correct those errors and then re-upload that file again. So from all of the other sheets I have to take example and basically I have to put the data in this one sheet called template. So here in this case you can see that I have already created too many variations for this product and uploaded that product here. So this is a ready file so I am just going to show you how you can fill in the data. So on the left side you you can see that this is product type product sku so when you start filling the data one by one in every column it will give you suggestion for this specific sheet like in this case i have downloaded the sheet from the bulk file with a category weighted blanket so when i click on this drop down menu i already found the blanket so i have selected the product type as blanket and in a seller sku you need to basically give an sku name to your product and you can give any name like for example if you are selling a blanket and they are in red green blue color and they are in small medium and large size so for the variation red small you can just name that blanket red small blanket red medium and blanket red large so these sku you have to rename yourself like i have just renamed them as per the color and as per the size and then on the right side you have to type the brand name and then in update delete you have to select partial update and then on the right side you have to leave the product id and product id type blank because this is the first time you are creating variation for too many listing so amazon will basically assign the asin and product id type itself right so after leaving those fields empty you have to go to the item name and type the product title here in manufacturer you have to type the brand name here in recommended browse note the excel file will automatically suggest you and if it is not you have to go down and click on browse data so here you will be able to see this browse note so you can just copy that and you can just paste that here right and then next you have to select the price and quantity like in this case the price is 120 dollars and the quantity for each variation i am having is 100 so you can just put any number of units you are having and then after putting the data in all of those fields you have to go right and leave all of these fields in orange and then you have to go to this pink fields which are called variation so for all of those variations which are child you have to select head child and only the first variation you have to select parent and then here you need to understand that every child is associated with only one parent and the SKU for that parent is parent SKU and this value parent SKU I have defined here you can see that for the first one the SKU is parent SKU so whatever character you define here you have to tell here in variation section like all of these childs belong to this one parent and the SKU of that parent is parent SKU you can just put any word you want right and then in the next column you have to define like what is the relation between these child and parent listing so basically the relation here is variation so I have put variation on all of the fields and then on the right side in the variation tab you have to tell that what is the variation theme like what are the factors based on which we are creating variation like either their color design or size so in this case the blankets are having color and size variation so i have typed color dash size and this value i have also taken from this valid value sheet so i can make sure that i am not making any mistake 
So after filling out all of the data in the variation tab, I have to go here in these green tabs and I have to only fill the values in these three columns like color, color map and size because we are making the variation based on color and size. So for every listing, I have to define it which color is this and which size is this. So as I told you earlier, for example, if you are having three size and three color, so three multiplied by three is nine. So we are having nine variation. So red color will be having three sides, small, medium and large. Blue color will be having three sides, small, medium and large. So that will be red, small, red, medium, red, large and blue, small, blue, medium and blue, large. So just like that, I have write all of this color here and then sizes like this listing is having wine color and the size is 30 by 40. And this is a plum color and the size is 30 by 40, right? So in this way, you have to fill out the data regarding your variation, color and size in each of the line. And then after filling out all of this detail, you have to save that file and you have to upload that file on Amazon again after filling out all of the data regarding every listing of yours, right? So after saving that, you have to go on Amazon again and then go up on the same page from where you have downloaded the Excel file. And then from top, you can see this upload as Petri. So if you click on that button, so there you will be able to see an upload button. So here you can click on a browse file and upload that file from a laptop from where you have saved that file. And after uploading that file, you have to click on submit product. So when you submit your product, so from the last app, which is called spreadsheet upload status, you have to click on that. And from there, you can just check the status of your upload. So when you save that Excel file, upload that Excel file, then after five to six minutes, when you go on your Amazon Manage Inventory section, so you will be able to see all of the variation has been made. And on the front end, you will be able to see your variation and size just like this. So after watching this video, go there, try the same method and let me know in the comment box below how much time it takes you to create your variation. And if you're facing any issue or any problem, then you can just let me know in the comment box as well, because I have made some videos on the troubleshooting of that topic in past as well. So if you're facing any error and issues, then feel free to reach out to me anytime in the comment box below. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.